Okay, so this talk's going to be about a procedure for finding a local and endpoint extreme values in the higher derivative test. We'll do an example. This actually just the use of the second derivative test, but uh, we'll see we may need to use higher derivatives to resolve some cases. Okay, so the function is this 3x to the 5 minus 5x cubed plus 7. Uh, x is in the interval negative 2 to 3, and our goal is to find the local and endpoint extreme values. So, what's the first step? Take the first derivative. First derivative. So, what is the first derivative? 15x to the fourth minus 15x squared. Okay, what's the second derivative? No. Yeah, let's just calculate it. Really. 60x cubed minus 30x. Okay, good. Now we have to find the critical points and because it's twice differentiable, the critical points are just, uh, I mean, it's it's differentiable. So they only have to worry about the points where f prime is 0. So what are the points where f prime is 0? 0, negative 1, and 1. Okay. Uh, let's, I'll, 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 I'll do this, I'll do from left to right. So negative 1, 0, 1. Well, I don't think this way is fine. Okay. Let's uh, figure out the uh, sign of f double prime on each of those. Yeah. So. Oh, one is negative one. Yeah. It is negative thirty. So it's ne it's less than zero. Well, let's see the second derivative. So it's sixty times negative one cubed minus thirty times negative one. Which is negative 30 plus that is 0. So you get a what at negative 1? Local max. And uh, we'll calculate the values later. Uh, what else? Well, at 0, what happens? 0. 0, so it's inconclusive. Is this not visible? Mm -hmm. oh, Next time we'll go out of the camera. Oh, okay. You don't need the top. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, so okay, so at zero it's it's uh, zero and therefore uh, uh, inconclusive. Yes. What else? So at what's the other point we have to evaluate at? At one. Yeah, at one. What happens? Is greater than zero. What is the what is the thing? Sixty minus thirty. Okay, which is thirty. Is greater than zero. So it's a local mean. So local min at one. Okay, great. Okay, uh, now so what do we need to do now? Take the third order. Take the third order derivative. So what is f uh, triple prime of x? One hundred eighty x squared. Mm -hmm. At zero is well minus something, right? Minus thirty. Yeah. Okay. Okay, uh, so now we don't have to worry about evaluating this at minus one and one because those those cases we already settled. So the only case we have to worry about is at zero. So what is a uh, at zero? It is negative thirty. At zero, it's negative thirty. So it's neither. So you have this case, right? Non-zero at here. So that means it's not a local maximum. So not local max. Okay, now uh, we don't have to go to step five then, because step five was necessary only if if there were still inconclusive cases after step four, but there aren't any. So now step six for the endpoints. Well, so the endpoints, the idea is you have to use the first uh, the one-sided derivative test at the endpoints. Okay, 
So you just try to calculate f prime at minus two and three. You cannot calculate f prime as a two side derivative, but the same two side expression works as the right hand derivative at minus two and as the left hand derivative at three. So what is f prime uh, from the right at minus two? Uh, there's 240 minus 60 equals 180. So it's positive, which means uh, the function is increasing on the immediate. The function is increasing on the immediate right of minus 2. Okay, which means that you have a what at minus 2? Well, not look, endpoint minimum. Right? Oh, yeah. So endpoint minimum at minus two. And what is the left hand derivative at three? It is. Is it positive or negative? That's what we care about. Well, it's positive. Yes, it's uh, 15 times 3 to the 4 minus 15 times 3 squared which is actually 1080, zero, zero, but the point is it's positive. You don't have to calculate the value exactly. So you get a what? So it's increasing on the immediate left of 3 and continuous at 3. So you get a what? End point? Point. Hmm? Max or max? Max. Right, so the sign thing is the same, but here it's on increasing on the right, here it's increasing on the left. So the conclusion is different. Okay, so what are the overall conclusion? Endpoint min at minus 2, local max at minus 1, neither max nor min at 0, then a local min at 1, and then endpoint max at 3. Okay, you can you can now, if you want, calculate the values of, of all of these. That's a, a separate thing. Uh, maybe let's do that. This is the value. Sir. So we want to check that that this sort of works correctly. So what is f of minus two? Hmm? The value hmm. of the original function. Oh, 90 minus ninety-six. So it's three minus two to the five minus five times minus two cubed plus seven. seven. What's that? Minus ninety-six. Plus twenty plus seven. Not twenty. Oh, plus forty plus seven. What's that? Thirty-nine minus thirty-nine minus forty-nine. Right. Okay. Good. This is endpoint main. Okay. Uh, f of minus one is what? Minus. 3 plus 5 plus 7 so, uh, so this was the minus 49 was endpoint min 9 is a local max right mm -hmm. and now uh, 0 is neither, so you just skip all that. f of 1 is what? 3, Three minus 5 plus 7. Five. That's a what? Local. Oh, and what's the value at 3? Well, it's 3 times 3 to the 5 minus 5 times Three cubed plus seven. What's that? Uh, seven hundred twenty-nine minus one hundred forty-five. Thirty-five. Thirty-five plus seven. Yeah. That's uh, six hundred one. That's the end point. Nice. Okay. Good. So we've got the entire behavior now. Okay, uh, by the way, f of 0 would be 7, but that's neither local max nor local. It's just kind of going down from, uh, from minus 1 to 1. Okay, good. Now, if you had actually had a situation where the f triple prime 0, or there, if there were a critical point where f triple prime were also 0 and f double prime were also 0, 
So sort of then you would have had to take the fourth derivative and keep going like that. Okay.